In this video, we're going to talk about an APK file and why you need to know about it. Now, an APK file is an Android application package file and it's used to distribute and install your app onto a device running the Android operating system. Now, the thing is, you've been using them already because if you've created any of the apps in the course so far and followed along, you've noticed that the apps are automatically deployed by Eclipse to the Android virtual device or to a real physical Android device if you've got it connected. But what's happening is Android, uh, sorry, Eclipse has been creating the APK file and automatically transferring that to the device uh, and, and then you're able to execute it on the device. So Eclipse is, take, is making this uh, an easy process for you by doing sort of some of the groundwork. So again, why APK? Well, it's the, the created file ends in .apk, so that's why it's generally referred to as an APK. And again, it stands for Android Application Package File. But they do need signing. So all Android apps actually need to be signed. Uh, refer to the key store video in this section for more information about what I mean. During testing, as we've been doing throughout the course, Eclipse is signing the app for debug. So it's doing that automatically. But when you upload uh, a completed app to the App Store, you need to firstly you need to create a key store, then you need to be able to sign it with your own private keys. And videos in this section will show you how to do that. As I mentioned, videos are going to show you how to do that. The, we're going to go through and show you a debug key store and show you what happens by default in case you've missed it. Then also how to create your very own key store and how to sign an app for distribution and as well as showing the APA, APK file that's generated from that as well. So I suggest you watch those other videos in, those, in this uh, section now.